Train Sim World 3 is the next step in the growth of train simulation, allowing you to manage high-speed services, large freight halls, and precision commuter traffic. Every rail fan can find something to like, and if you've settled on a favorite route, there are even more ways to play. Players may experience a wide range of scenarios as they try to transport their goods securely while battling obstacles like bad weather and more. Surprisingly, Train Sim is one of those games that allows players to enhance their gameplay experience. Here are some tips you may apply while playing Train Sim World that will surely improve your experience. Starting from number 7, focus on tutorials. The controls on each locomotive and unit are distinctive and often complex. You will be able to truly learn each subject if you finish the tutorials, pay attention to the details, and repeat them if necessary. Whenever you like, you may rewatch tutorials by returning to the main menu for each path. The more experience you have, the simpler it will be for you to follow the schedule. The player can use the training center as a kind of tutorial mode when they first start off. Many individuals, nevertheless, are unaware of the training center's intended use. As a result, many people who may benefit from the training center's advice will rush in, unaware that they are making mistakes. Any player would benefit from at least taking a quick look at the training center and having a little playtime. Moving on to number six, create scenarios. While there are many different situations that a player may enjoy while playing train sim, it's important to note that a player can also enter the actual off the rails option. They must do more than merely use the scenario planners to play the game. Try your favorite route in the snow, push yourself to complete a challenging freight run, and enjoy each route a little bit differently each time you play. Off the rails option allows you to ride any train on any route if you're feeling adventurous. With the off the rails functionality, a player can begin to alter the path they take. They can deviate from the path or go anywhere they choose while gaining train controlling experience. Moving on to number five, design the damn train CJ. Choose your loco, come up with a fresh, innovative concept and go to work. With so many layers, decals and colors available, one can easily and quickly create a spectacular, one of a kind design that is eye catching. Even while it doesn't actually have a big impact on the game, this is nevertheless a fun little feature. Although many gamers may end up skipping over this option, it can give the player's train a slight sense of customization. To begin customizing their train, a player must first open the livery designer. But after that, a player may pretty much do as they like with the train's customization. Moving on to number four, join community. Although Train Sim World 3 is mostly a single player experience, there is still a hub where people may share particular gameplay segments. It's unfortunate that some gamers are unaware of it because there is a lot of useful stuff there. At essence, anything that gamers have created themselves may be found in the online sharing hub. It would be beneficial for a player to have a look at the new routes, customized trains, and other stuff that gamers create and share with one another. Moving on to number three, explore routes. Despite the fact that there are several paths that a player may follow in Train Sim World 3, many of them choose to stay with only one route for the train. Get out there and start adding route maps, safety signs, and all kinds of railway-related stuff. Before long, you'll know the routes like the back of your hand. Each route also has different route tasks for you to accomplish or locate. This will aid in route learning and improve your driving. Even while it may be tempting to merely play via the path that a player is most familiar with, there are plenty of difficulties and fresh experiences to be gained with the game's other routes. Moving on to number two, complete challenges. Driving trains around is just one aspect of Train Sim World 3. The story of the game includes transporting various types of significant goods around the globe, and the train is the most effective way to accomplish it. A player may complete a variety of tasks to get access to extra carry-along items, more details for creating their train, and other things. There aren't many individuals who are aware that completing these tasks would get them access to a variety of benefits. As a result, they may skip over them, which is a serious mistake. Lastly, moving on to number one, get add-ons. The routes that come with Train Sim World 3 are filled with interesting information and certainly aren't boring. However, as you look into add-ons, there's more to appreciate. You might consider getting some more maps if you want a truly unique and novel gameplay experience. With the Legacy Collection, you can take use of a variety of add-ons from the original Train Sim World. To find something new, visit the Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, and Epic Games storefronts. You may also look for updates on add-ons on the Dovetail Games official website. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it so far. If so, 
then subscribe to the channel and like the video in order to see more gaming content like this in future. Comment down below with your own favorite tips and what video do you need next. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, bye bye.